good morning uh, this is Alko Swim Machine uh, my name is Alko Taya Yopoli and I'm here to explain and give you a detail on how to couple your industrial swimming machine which is our uh, model 737 and in this video I wish I make something quick and fast uh, all you need to couple your industrial machine is a spanner, you need spanner 14 you need star screwdriver you need flat screwdriver and a plier you can get just these five tools then you can couple your industrial sewing machine with the help of this video first of all I would like to go to that you have to check your drawer because whenever you unleash this carton you will see a drawer in it whereby you see all tools will be inside it and in the tool you will make your you see that you have your screws, you have your screws in it, you have the covering, you have the machine adjustment, you have everything inside it. Now, make sure this thing is has not broken or you get it in pieces so that there will be there will not be shortage of either knots or things that you need in completing your work. So first of all, I will start by uh, coupling this iron part of it before we move to the next fix of it. So why getting it? If you notice, we have two of these. We have two of these guys. We have these. If you note, they are not the same size, but we must have these two. For industrial weaving machine, which is model 737, we have two pedals for it. Sometimes you see a bigger pedal, and one will be small. Sometimes you see just two small pieces of sticks in it. Then we have this side of it this one too must be two so to start the video the first thing you do is you put this here sometimes maybe due to the load or baggage that you put on your machine you notice it's not entering it properly or you just need to use your plier to adjust it so you can see what I'm doing my see it's ready inside because sometimes there are difficulties in putting this inside it so all you just need to use your plier adjust it when you are done then that's it that's one two now in some machine you find this two uh should i call it not you find these two not older there sometimes you won't find this it will be just normal screw and not, but in this the model we are coupling, I think this is Kingy brand. And in this model, this is what you will see inside it. So you bring these two inside the machine this way, and you use your nut to to hold it. So now this side of it, you are free to adjust it either down or up. It depends on the height you choose and the height of the person that wants to use the machine. Sometimes you just draw it up to the left end there, like I always cope with my customer because the majority of them are tall height you stand. So putting it up here, you just screw it. Now this must be very firm. You don't just do it like you are doing very light work because the machine you'll be putting on it is very heavy and there are some times that you notice that customers do rest or even you yourself you rest in your machine so if this side is not is not well tightened you notice that the machine will not be standing well and it just like so let's keep seeing it this one the other one too they will do the same process Alright, the two are the same. I can make sure they are well tightened. So the next thing we do now is 
we use this side to complement it to so that this is just like a bar that will hold the two together so Now, we are almost done. You can see the way this tool is standing. This is just we creating a frame for it. Right away now, we can't use it this way. We must complete some things on it. Like this rubber side of it. Just cover the holes. And this side also beautifies your machine. It makes it look more attractive. So make sure you find black in it. Some will be red. Like this machine now is blue. And you like it. Now, in setting this guy, these are just star foot. In setting it there, sometimes you notice that the floor you put your machine on is not accurately balanced. So if the floor is not accurately balanced, you don't have to tighten these guys. So once you turn your machine, once you are done coupling your machine, and you want to make it stand, that's when you now determine how you can easily adjust it so that your machine will not be dangling, to not be shaking. What I mean is, you can see this way that now it's standing yet it's not balanced until you fix it on the table that we know that a side of it is not touching the ground very well very so we'll be able to adjust it that's why i'm not tightening it now so by the time i'm done with it i'm tightening the north side of it so the next thing we are doing now is we're bringing this guy up this guy will come to this direction now notice the video the camera notice there are sometimes that these two guys will not be here you know can, if you notice this one is on the factory so i do it so they will give you maybe two sliver sliver plates that you have to put it in it so i put the sliver plate inside you make sure it crosses this direction and you knot it with just two knots it's very very important because not all machine has this so machine have to bring the flat bar and put it in it Now, we are done with the frames. We are done with the frames. The next thing we are doing now is to put this pedal. Now, this pedal it depends on how you want it. Some might put it this wide, some might put it together. But anyhow, you put it, just make sure you put it at your own conveniences because you don't want to be using the machine. So, I'm turning it now, and let me show you the way I do my own pedal. These are the two hooks that hold it, and these hooks 
I try my possible best to make an improvisation on it. Normally, if you want to fix it, you only fix the guys like this. But I notice it makes the other soft. Let me show it to you. Now, putting it this way is very cool. In fact, if you see some machine, you notice it's the way they put it. That the two sides will be out here, but I just noticed it's not, it look rampant, kind of, it's not neat. So I decide to use the other side of it, that you have to see the holder, or you all will just see is the leg is here standing and not moving. So let me, let me fix it and let's see. That's good, Rebel. Now, as you can see, it's, it's a bit neater than when you just put everything outside and you can easily see the knots, you can see it So, like this, is just neat and you, you love the uniqueness, you actually love the uniqueness. Let me fix the other one too. This is the second one. Now you can see the two. The two is now standing firm and all right. So now for industrial weaving machine which is either 737 747 model or 757 model we are done coupling the leg so the next phase now is the table part of it so we we'll put the motor we we'll put the uh, machine carrier itself the accessories and how we fix the wiring Oops. the thing we are doing now is uh, we we'll have to fix this guy you can easily you get this from the Machine head carton and always a, a case that I just open up and you bring it out. Now, this, if you notice, there are different holes on your table. There are these one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, the holes will be seven. If you can notice, same thing happen here again that one of it is covered. So, it must be seven. This guy is using four while your clutch motor is using three. Now, let's begin to fix it. This, you will get this from this carton, inside this carton. You get this guy there. And let's see how it works. Let's see how it works. It's very straightforward. Now, the first one is one, two, three, four. Remember, I told you we are using four for it. So, let's see the four. How would place it? Now, notice the O is still seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're just making use of four out of it for now before we go to the clutch motor side. It's one, two, three, four. Now, this four, let me just eat it a bit so it won't have effect. The other just eat it so that it will to stay. By the time you are scrolling it, it will be more fair. So, that's it. To bring it up sometimes you might be you might screw this side or you screw this side notice the thing is not balancing 
all you just need is patience and make sure you take your time to size it now it has four rubbers that it, these rubbers must be four after you get the four rubbers this iron two will be four like you can see them they must be four so each of them will be inside the rubbers two three four each of them will be inside the rubbers and we have these four washers too one two three four four washers so one two three four four knots so we put one of these with the left side screw it the next one And the next one, let's see, absolutely four. So, after this side, you have to go back to your carton again and get your L and key. That NN key is all used to screw it, is it in your accessories, is it in your machine accessories. You don't have to buy anything, they are all in your machine accessories. So, this is the NN key we are using. We have different sizes in it, but this is what we are using for now. We'll make use of others too, and I'll make sure I explain it to you. So, it is one. This three must be firm. It must be firm because you mentioned it's already resting on this guy. So it must be firm. Alright, so we are done with this. Done with this. The next thing we are going is the motorcycle. Now, this extra four, you will notice I'm having extra four black uh, rubbers. We'll make use of them while we are uh, while we turn the machine. Make use of them on the other side. But not now. But we'll make sure you keep turning and you wash to the end. Motor. I will have to fix to the machine. First of all, you notice why you open your clutch motor or carton, you notice that there is this pretty black stuff inside it. Some people you have people ask me what are we doing with it? It's very essential because it prevents your machine from excess vibrations. So this is how we use it. You put one here. This one here, another will be here, and the other one will be here. After you put the three, now why fixing this? I told you we have four, and the other one will be using three. These are the three knots. So this is the way we we'll move it. This is one, lose it, two, and lose it. And three. So let's go there. We come back to this space. So one, two, three. These are the three other sides that we are going to use. All right. Yeah. So with this three, the next thing we just do is bring your clutch motor. You turn it to the other side and you fix it in. Mm -hmm. Now, why fixing this guy? You don't just put it because sometimes it might be too backward, sometimes too forward. So, all you just have to do is try and put it at the middle so it will, it will correspond directly to your machine wheel. 
Because it's all we'll put the bed directly to the machine. So after you are done putting this, the next thing you do one, two, three. So you have them in three, three, three. Put the three, three, three in it. Your washers two must be there. And So, your spanner 14, 14 spanner. Just bring it directly in. and the work will start. So after you are done with this, that's all. Let's continue because this side is very crucial to our machine. Now we have different choices. Some people prefer their their machine switch to be either at this side or at this side here. But on my own side, this is where I put it. For my customers because I always feel like I should be using my right hand to switch it off and on. So that's why I put it this side. Uh, let's couple it and see. Is the next guy there is this. Sometimes you don't see something like this here, you see something like a rubber hook that we just use to hold the wire down. So, normally I should use armor, but me, I love using my plier, so I will have so you get to get all. Sorry, this guy have to be so expensive. All you need is it is uh it's firmless. It have to be firm. So that's all. And the third one, so that the wire will not remove easily. this side so we are done fixing the clutch motor we're done fixing the clutch motor this is the switch this is the machine car itself sorry i'm stepping on this ball don't worry it's very very strong so the next fix now is we putting this guy back here now this face is very crucial because sometimes you might you will see some people they will carry their machine this way some will do all my other things that is not applicable. But the only thing you use to measure there is first, this screw in my hand, we fix it directly here. There are some machines that it happens that you see yours to be a kind of flat surface that you have to put it on it. But this is the way we we'll do it. So, just screw it, it must be tight too. It must be tight too. So, 
Get away. That's it now. The the major thing you need you need to measure how this table will stand is this connection rod. This rod connects your motor to the pedal. So my plier. I'm making use of my plier here. I think the screw on this guy is size 14, but some this is size 13, some is 14, some is 15. So regardless of it. That's why I said you need your plier to fix it, so you have to be contemplating on what and what not to use. So, now, if I'm using my right leg to weave, definitely I will connect my motor to the side. Maybe I'm a left right footer, like the players say, you have left footer, you have left footer. So if you're a right footer, you make use of this leg. If you're a left footer, you make use of this side. But being a right footer, we just bring it directly down here. This is one. And this is two. Now, this guy, sometimes some people put it this way. But why I don't encourage you putting it here sometimes? Just that your, mo your motor will be removing even while you are using it. So I advise you to put it in this direction. So if you put it in this direction, this is the loader. You measure the loader first before you. So let's let's make sure this holder is standing straight. So this is the major requirement for measurement because if this guy is not if this guy is too tight, if it's too tight, sometimes it holds your motor down and it will get the motor spoiled. Sometimes when it's too soft, until you press a longer, you put a longer a high pressure on it, you measure it more. So you have to make sure that this thing is just free in it. And while pressing it, it's not touching this bar. If it's touching this bar, it might later lead to electric shock. So just make sure it's not touching this bar and it's as free as this. If it's as free as this, you are free to nail your machine. So what you need again is your accuracy. You just do machine anyhow because sometimes you just need something neat and accurate. You can easily measure your, your machine from this side by putting this here and measure it directly here too. So that the machine will stand accurately. So after that, after measuring the accuracies, the next thing is we get a hammer and yield and nail the stone. You see it from your drawer, the screw that was given to you, the drawer that came to the machine. You always have these four nuts there. Which one will work here? One will work here, one will work here, and the other one will be here. So let me start by okay. Since I say we are using start screw, I should not be using something heavy. Let's start by screwing it. Screw it. Don't worry, I'll pass to it for you. But normally, I just use it at my machine, my screwing machine. You can get a screwing machine, just screw it down, or you get a hammer, or like the manual one I'm doing here. In case you're not having any of those tools, just get yours. Get your start screw. I'm not using the schooling machine now because it's kind of out sense. It's out thing. I don't have it here with me, but sometimes I just use my machine and it makes the work very easier. 
So at the end, instead of leaving it after this way, just screw it. So make sure it is firm. That firmness is very, very essential. Okay, we are done with two. The other two at the back. We are done fixing the leg. The next thing we do here is we are putting our chain here. And the last, which is not the least, we are doing before we stand our machine is this side of the drawer. You must put it there because it's also, it's also essential. Let's put it one this side, the other one on this side. It's very, it doesn't have a specific measurement, but I just make it. To be a bit nearer to this side, so for PC, it doesn't have to be easily accessible. So, Now, this side. So, this plastic is for the other side, while this one is for this side. Don't worry, you won't understand now. By the time we are done, you see it's purpose. So, let's put one here. Okay, I'm not using my hammer. You can add hammer to your tools. I think it's an easier tool. Essential too. There's one. Sometimes you can put your four. You can put the four there. Sometimes you can put the three there. It depends on how you want it. There's a fourth one. That's all. That's all. This side. Let's turn the machine on. And if you notice, the other time when I fix just this iron side, it seems looks to be balanced. But now it's not balanced anymore. And see, so we just make adjustments to our screw here. Let me try and screw this side a bit and see how it should look like. floor we are pleasing it so now while fixing this i told you we have the other side of it and this is the other side of it that will be here the other side will be opposite to be here and now we are on the surface of our machine we can't just use our armor anyhow we have to be careful in the way we just do some things so
So that's that. Now we are going straight to. If I remember where I was fixing this, I told you we are we are going to make use of these other four rubbers. So now, quick observation: you can see that we have a iron here, there's iron here, there's iron here, but this guy is empty. It's not in here. So this one has iron. One of them will be here. One will be here. One will be here. We can notice they are just this side. And this one that has no rubber will be here. Notice this side very well because any mistake here, your machine will not be balanced. So let me bring out the machine head. Let's fix it. Yeah, the machine head. So sometimes it will not just enter straight, you just have to you can see the machine is standing already and standing fair. At that side on the the next thing we need to do is fixing our belt sometimes you will notice maybe the belt is too short or it's too long there's nothing like that in as much as the full corn belt the belt that they packed from the factory it is certainly size it's easier that you need to do some adjustment on it and it goes thus that now this is where you put your belt you put your belt here now this side first before we connect it to the other side down so you bring this side first now from here you come down to this side if you can see the bed is a bit small for the machine so this is what we do now I didn't mean you, we, I'm not trying to limit the tools I'm using here so that it can be for your conveniences. I will like get spanner 19 or 18 to lose this side. But right away, I'll just use spy my plier and I'll lose it. When you say you lose it with your plier, you notice this side is free. By the time this side is free, you bring this guy, draw this up yourself, and that's it. So. You will make, you make sure it's not tight. You don't make it tight. You can even just put a bit of your hand here and screw it. When it's tight, it makes the work and the motor work hard, and the motor will be getting hot, hot and hot, and which is can damage the coil. So this is the motor. You just tighten this guy back. Make sure you tighten it back because by working, this guy might fall off. So. And when it's fall off, you may need to buy another trick and another nut to it. That's that about fixing the rubber and the belt. So you close the belt up too. You close the guy up. And this is it. You have to lose this nut. So that's that about this side. And now, after we are done with this, before we discuss how to pass the thread and other stuff, we have to do this guy too. It's very, very important. And this guy, sometimes, I don't really need to teach you, but it's just me looking at the picture or looking out how it stands, you can easily understand on how to use it. But regardless of that, since we are in public uh, section, let's just show everything to you. This is the first one. This is it. I see everything I'm able to access here. 
So, the first thing you will do is just do this like to add it. Pull it out. So, one, one, let this all go to this side. And we we'll fix it. It must be hard because if this side is not hard, we we'll just end up building what will not last. You just notice that your machine is shaking, the, something is shaking, it's running anyhow, and it's not stable. So this one. So the second one to I have to be fast about this. Course like this, you notice this is the upper part of it, so just go with this way. So you don't make that mistake. So We are coupling the one for three thread. That's why you can see we have just three rods here. Uh, if it is possible, five thread or four thread, we have four of these. And we have five of these, respectively. So this goes those. So this this and this other guy too is here standing. You have two three forms here. One two three. So this guy is will come here. Okay, so this is the thing. The other part we need to add to it is this part too. You notice I'm doing it preset upon preset. Now, I did not just put this guy here. I noticed that there is a knot here. That's why this guy is coming to this side. The other road is not having any knot on it. That's how I bring this guy to it. If you notice, there are two different things. This guy has a kind of plastic on it. Why this guy is not having anything like that? And it has double holes on it. So remember, I just decided to put one up and one down. They have their own different functions. So. That's that. Now, this guy will have to come up here. This guy wants to come up here. I'll continue this guy when we get there. Let's see. So, 
That's that. Now this other guy will come here. So I'll keep watching you in the knot. This side too it must be tight. It must be tight. I don't know this goes out. I don't like the way I'm doing it. This, I need to glue this side for it. If you notice, this guy is just a bit out. I do not make it excessively coming back, so I make sure it's just a bit out. You see the reason why, why we continue the video. You see the reason why I do it that way. So, because it has to hold the thread that way. Okay. Next thing. On this side, and here we go. The last piece of it. Yeah, so this will be a can see first normal thing to so that the iron will not affect the thread. So I want to say congratulations for learning how to. Now my advice is whenever you want to cope with something like this, first watch the video. And yeah, the second time you are doing it, it will be very easy for you. You don't just misplace this. So you see the video once, and now the second time you get that the practical aspect. Now post the video, watch it over and over again to you get to this estate. Now, the next video that we'll build on this basic page will be treating on how to couple, how to fix the thread, the number of the steps you take in fixing the thread, everything will discuss it, how you set your be machine tension, I fixed the needle, so be expecting a video very soon.